hi there so in this video I'm going to show you how to use for loop in Perl programming language so the first thing make sure that you have Perl installed on your operating system so if you have yet to install it then you go through my some of the earlier videos to find out uh, how to check whether your system has Perl installed or not okay so for windows machine it's simply opening up the command prompt and typing perl space then dash v okay so you can check that on visual studio code as well here you just open terminal and here just type in perl dash v and it should show you this install version and its respective number okay so after that I'll just create one file with extension dot peer in my case it is sample dot peer and here I'm going to write for loop in Perl so the first thing that we are going to write is uh, we are going to type in keyword for and inside the bracket I'm going to write a variable named a and set its value to 10 so what I'm going to do is I'm going to count from 10 to 20 and I'm going to output each incremental value with the help of this loop so value is 10 and it should be less than 20 okay and another condition is we have to increment it so we have to just use plus 1 okay so what we do here is first we set the initial value then we set the condition up to which we want this loop to run and third condition is incrementing the loop now inside this loop we are going to use curly bracket for adding the code inside this loop here just type in print keyword then type in value of a and then we use dollar sign a then slash n okay and outside the double quote you use semicolon to end your statement now what this will do is it will first run this loop it will check current value of a it is 10 then it will check the condition which is required for under 20 value then it will output the value of a then loop codes by incrementing with this third condition it will become 11 then again it will check condition and print the value out it will do up to the value of 19 and then when it becomes 20 it will exit out of this for loop okay so let's open terminal and execute this to find out how it works okay so make sure that you are navigating to the directory or drive where you have this sample.pl file stored now type in perl and then sample.pl so this is the file name inside which i am writing this code and will be used to execute here so Perl and then sample.pl now after hitting enter you will find that the output of value of A starts from 10 up to 19 and after that it exits uh, like the way I have explained so you can change these conditions and still able to make your way out of this you, for example you can make this 10 you can reduce the 20 to let's say to a and loop will be a lot shorter okay um, usually for loop is often used to execute set of instruction up to certain conditions such as this is checked okay so let's say if you have any particular log or error message to give and you have conditions such as this then you can execute loop and explain the user that it won't be doing specific task until the value is raised or reduced to that point so you know how to use for loop in for programming language